Hello, and welcome to Barclay Viewforth's Thought for the Day. Today I'm thinking about prayer. Some people are known as prayer warriors. There was one woman I knew who, because of her disability, felt that the role she could play was that of prayer. Not that she didn't go to church and everything, but she felt that in the time she spent alone at home, she could prioritise prayer that other people might find difficult to fit into their lives. When she woke in the middle of the night, she spent time in prayer. For some of us though, prayer may be more of a challenge and I'm speaking of myself here. Friends will tell you that I'm not very good at initiating things, like meeting up or even texting. Of course, I do like meeting friends and I'm looking forward to when we can all get together again. But I'm more of a agreeing to do something kind of person rather than suggesting to do something person. I think it's maybe the same way with prayer. So what I found over time is that if I can create habits or ways of bumping into prayer, then I'm more likely to spend time with God. For several years, I've used an app called Pray As You Go, and it's the first thing I do in the morning. It's a pretty lazy way to spend time with God, but it's meant that I'm consistent with it. Every morning I wake up, I put on my Pray As You Go app. For me, it's Pray As You Keep Lying Down. But also since December, all the ministry team have been using an app called Lectio 365, which I heard about from our interim moderator, Ian MacDonald. So I've also integrated that into my morning routine. The monthly prayer breakfast at church has become another habit, but that's now of course changed to a weekly Zoom prayer meeting. But it's a point in the week where we can gather and share in prayer. I don't need to think about these things or plan, they just happen, since I'm not the one who's organising them. And so it's another way to bump into prayer. I try to have some regular prayer with my son, the Lord's Prayer at noon and nighttime prayer, but sometimes we forget or are doing something else. But that's okay, and we keep trying. A couple of weeks ago, when we had some really nice sunny weather, I was busy washing lots of things and my dressing gown, which I don't use very often, was on my list of things to wash. In one of the pockets, I found a written prayer. Back when Nikki was a student with us, she led an evening service where there were various prayer stations around the Pillar Hall with different prayer activities on them. One of those activities, as far as I can remember, was to write a simple everyday prayer about an activity that you do. And so I wrote my cup of tea prayer. And that's what I found in my pocket. For a while, it must have been winter as I was wearing my dressing gown, As I went through my morning ritual of tea preparation, I would reach for the prayer in my pocket and thank God for all the different things that contributed to me enjoying my early morning cup of tea. Prayer can be a lot of things, depending on your circumstances. Sometimes you need to spend time pleading with God or rejoicing with God or wrestling with God. But sometimes you just need to bump into God and have a wee chat. Just like phoning or texting a friend. 
or writing a letter or email. We can just say a few words. Like before I started preparing this thought for the day, I just prayed that my words would be useful and not a lot of waffle. What ways can you bump into God today or this week? Can you make some regular appointments to bump into God? What new ways can I do that in my circumstances here and now? God knows what's going on with each of us and all the stuff on our to-do lists, all our worries and concerns. But he wants us to spend time with him, hanging out and chatting about these things. So now let's just pray for a moment together. Father God, help us to keep bumping into you, even when we're not planning to. Keep reminding us about our relationship with you in the small and everyday moments that make up our days. Amen.